let's welcome Willem van Alphen and Edwin Wolfhard on stage from the Dutch Police and KPN. So, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good to good see morning. you again. Good, to see you. good, good morning. morning. How are you? Hi. Over here? Yep. <laughs> Otherwise, the audience over there can't see us. So, um, I guess, uh, Willem, you're the uh, process manager of 112, and I guess, uh, uh, Edwin, you're with KPN. So, please uh, introduce yourself real quick to the, uh, to the audience. Good morning. Uh, I'm Willem van Alphen, uh, technical uh, process manager of uh, 112 the uh, emergency number for public services in uh, the Netherlands. Um, with my team, we are responsible for the continuity of the service to the people. We never can be there. We have always have to be there. Um, since we are heavily uh, depending on the system below it, of course, I'm also a member of the Change Advisory Board for the National Police and in cooperation with the uh, other member states been uh, within the European Union. I'm a lot in uh, abroad for new developments, best practices, and that kind of stuff. Okay, interesting. So maybe you can introduce yourself briefly as well. Katie. Yes, I'm the uh, key uh, architect, lead architect of the new uh, 112 system for the Netherlands. So, which is based on the uh, Avaya technology. So, Willem, let's start with you. So, so how does the? Um, we know it's very voice centric in the very. In the, very beginning. So how does the near future of uh, emergency services look like? Um, What's the beyond the voice only type of... Yeah, we, we just started a new uh, project uh, at the moment to develop uh, 112 in the Netherlands, at least right. the call handling uh, system uh, of it. Um, basically, of course, we are uh, uh, on voice. Mm -hmm. um, that's traditionally uh, in uh, government uh, areas is a, is a standard. Um, we're changing that now, addition of data to that, um, location data, personal data, vehicle data, all kind of data that can help us um, determine whether it's a real call or uh, it's the severity of it, that kind of stuff. Um, location, of course, we are able to, uh, we're able to order a pizza and get it delivered on the spot. But when we are calling 112 or 911 or whatever uh, emergency number, we are not. And that is strange. We should uh, change that. That what we are going to change. Mm -hmm. and next to that, we are going to implement um, other types of communication, uh, real-time text, video, right. in European standards like uh, total conversation. Right. Uh, that's for deaf and uh, hearing impaired. We always try to broaden that a little by to speech impaired people who can't talk at the moment, they should be able to call to 112. Okay. So we, we heard a lot about e-call, right? And we can actually see it here in the uh, breakout session as well. So what is what is e-call? What does it mean, e-call? E-call for 112. E-call, basically, as I always say it, and I'm a process man, not a technical man, e-call is just an automated 112 call. Um, and nothing more than that. Um, there's an automated call of based on a set of sensors in the, in the car that can initiate a 112 call and deliver in a minimum set of data, a lot of data to it, uh, so that we can better find it. Uh, we know how many passengers are, are on board, all that kind of exact location, of course. That's one of the main, main things. Equal as we implemented in 2018 will be for all cars. Um, at the moment, most of us know already e-call in, uh, in the car, but that, that's brand uh, bound, um, Volvo, Mercedes, uh, whatever uh, brand you are driving, it has already an e-call. That's not the e-call we are implementing mm -hmm. uh, in 2018, that's for all new cars. So the e-call is actually now integrated into the emergency services, yeah. so if an airbag pops out, then it automatically initiates an IoT call and then in the emergency services desk will be able to, to handle that and they know yep. the location yep. and so forth. Yep. Yep. That's very interesting. So let's uh, move over to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so how does the uh, cooperation between Avaya and KPN and 102 look like? Because you've been involved in, as yep. the uh, main architect of this solution, right? Yeah. Uh, our journey started with, uh, let's say, two basic uh, requirements. The first one is uh, no lost calls, which means, let's say, uh, one 
near 100% availability, set times 24. Another basic requirement is, uh, is integrating all the uh, new technology, all the new uh, contact uh, channels into, into the system. So one, one of the m most important is, uh, is of course, e-call. So we started with a, a new, tech, uh, with a new uh, architecture uh, based on the Avaya, it's a new Avaya technology, so Avaya Breeze and communication mantra, etc. etc. Right. And um, yes, yeah, so based on that, uh, we virtualized everything in our, our data centers. So that, that's less the more, the, the more technical part. Um, no, let, let's, let's talk about eCall. eCall has for us, let's say, has, has, has the opportunity for, uh, for one or two that we have to, to can, can add new functionalities to the, to the to 112. And so we call it e, um, uh, gray listing. Gray listing, let's say that's if, if an accident happens, so on a particular place in the Netherlands, then when an eco uh, 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 takes place, then, th then you have, have a, a mass of, 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 of equals from a particular, particular location. So with Gray listing, we can, the supervisor of the, the contact center can say, okay, this particular area on a map, so let's say on, on that map, uh, on that particular place, we can uh, add specific call hunting, call routing functionality. And with specific, I mean to, to avoid that one on two is, is uh, um, uh, congested. So with that specific functionality, we can route calls to, to other places or to specific, uh, uh, a specific skill, then so that we can handle, uh, let's say, at, uh, at all kind of new functionality. That's really interesting. Yeah, so it's it's really revolutionary, revolutionizing the way that we use uh, uh, emergency services, right? And so I think in the U.S. they call it 911. There's different versions of it, but here in Europe it's 112. So this is very interesting. So beyond what we've seen right now. Um, I'm wondering what is next? What is the next generation of emergency services? save more lives, which is interesting. So it's not only about revenue increase, but also saving lives. So this is very good. So thank you so much for your, uh, this, was, uh, this was very interesting. It's a very interesting use case, right? You know, this is where technology can really save lives, which is amazing.